What's up guys, Chronica420 here and we just picked up a new light. Um, this is a rather new company out, it's called uh, MyLumi. <clears throat> um, I know they specialize usually in like smart home, uh, smart home things like uh, smart plugs and stuff like that, um, but they started making grow lights now. And uh, this one's pretty stacked man, it's got 500 Samsung uh, LEDs on it, um, it's a SoSan driver. Um, what else has it got? Um, it's also fully smart, so it's got a smart controller on it that's actually Wi-Fi accessible, um, and I can uh, access it away from home also. I think it hooks up with like my uh, my router in my house here. So it can fully be uh, controlled, everything on it. It can do like, uh, what do you call it, simulated daylight, like uh, day rise and uh, sunsets. Um, also, it has uh, built-in temperature and humidity, so it gives you uh, actual readings of what your temperature and humidity is in the tent. It just has a whole bunch of other cool stuff to it, so um, it's pretty cool that you can actually control it and uh, just from your phone and don't have to actually go in the tent and dim the actual light. So this one's going to be a pretty cool one to test out. But uh, this is basically the back of uh, the light here. As you can see, they've gone with like a finned... Um, a fin style heat sink apparently this heat sink works a lot better for keeping the light cool so we'll really see how that does um, just give me a second here and I'm gonna flip it over I'm gonna pause the video so we're back here I just flipped over the light for you guys and you can see here the lights pretty stacked with the diodes on it also it's got this awesome design on it this is a uh, pretty killer I have never seen a actual grow light with a design like this on it ever before um, the most I've seen is maybe the grow lights actual like the company name in the middle but uh, nothing like this with actual weed plants on it and buds and stuff and an alien check the phone uh, depicting that it's uh, a smart light so um, yeah man this thing's pretty cool uh, I gotta say it also comes with a nice little controller here that you can control it if you want to control it right from the light or you just control it straight from your phone um, via Wi-Fi and it actually gives you alerts if the heat gets too high and stuff like that I guess you could set the light like that too to dim down when heat gets too high so you can really have it automated so we're really gonna put this thing out to a test um, we're gonna run it through the next grow so keep tuned guys for that grow that I'm gonna be doing in my smallest tent um, I'll be doing some more videos with it uh, but yeah I'm gonna try to get this thing set up um, and just uh, show you guys how it lights up at least uh, before I end this video this unboxing video of it I know it's a short little video, but uh, we will be going over this light more and more over my next grows and stuff You'll see it in every grow in my smallest tent. So uh, other than that uh, Give me a minute. I'll be right back. What's up guys? We're back here and we've got the my Lumi light set up here with the Samsung LEDs and I gotta say this thing's beautiful. I guess we could kind of call this a review too because we've had some plants growing under it and it's really been pushing them to the limits. As you can see, they've just got shoots everywhere. It's a beautiful canopy. Um, there's gonna be a lot of bud sites that just shot these into flowering and they're really doing a minimal stretch. The light seems to be really taking care of uh, giving them that full light intensity. Uh, another thing to keep aware of here, I don't normally have the light this low. I just brought it down for the review so you guys can see things as some things be kind of out of perspective if I had it all the way up high where I have it normally um, I want you guys to be able to see all the controls and stuff as you can see we have the little controller here that goes inside the tent I was kind of mixed up on if it goes inside or outside the tent but realize it's inside the tent because it has this little temperature and humidity sensor here like a hygrometer and basically it relays back the temperature and stuff like that to you um, same 69 right now due to the fact that it's sitting under the canopy and I've got it just nice and chill in here. Um, also, it's got uh, Wi-Fi control. You can turn that on and off with it. Also, dimming control and some automations control and the power control there. There's a little blue light that uh, stays on here that's a little pet peeve that I have. Um, this actual light turns off when the light turns off, the numbers, but the blue light stays on, so I had to put some black tape over it. So be aware of that, guys. When you get it, that little light will stay on and can screw up your grow a bit. Um, you don't want any lights on when you're doing 12 12 um, but as you can see we got a nice spread here 500 LEDs and um, I know they're uh, they're going through uh, like 3000 K 5000 K and uh, 680 or something like that NM and we've got IR also in it the one thing that it is lacking is UV um, apparently they have it in their higher up models so as usual I just put my supplemental UV puck bulb here that gives some extra UV um, but other than that I'm not too uh, worried about it. it's just lately like really pumping it out uh, the Samsung LEDs do a really good job as you can see. Also you can uh, note that this light is well built compared to others. I noticed a lot of lights on the market they cheap out with the reflector parts. 
um, the heat sink and whatever the heat shield here um, so like a lot of them make it with like really uh, crappy like tin foil kind of tin um, I've cut my hand on a couple of uh, lead makers lights and stuff like that one that weren't finished on the edges and it's just uh, you know they bend easy and stuff like that this one won't this is hard steel this is nicely uh, fabricated it's got nice finished edges well painted and everything um, it's, it seems like a powder coat on it um, it's just a very nice light it's got a coating on the front of it so it keeps it waterproof a bit so if you're spraying uh, any humidity gets to it it won't ruin it also uh, it's got a nice so -send driver on it They're, they don't follow the same as everybody else with the meanwhile drivers and this driver seems to really run it nicely very cool compared to uh, other Samsung lights that have meanwhile drivers that I've seen I'm trying to get up here so you guys can see stuff and then in the back there that's the actual Wi-Fi controller for it so this is all new controller a my Lumi controller that they I think they've made themselves uh, fabricated themselves but it gives you full Wi-Fi functioning um, automations and everything uh, also you have the ability to check humidity and temperature which are hooked up to this light as well which uh, really help out with the automations so if it does get too hot in the tent the light can actually automate itself and dim itself down to a proper uh, intensity so the temperature drops back into range and it never gets too hot which I'll go over when I uh, do the bit of the app on this video after this part of the video but uh, other than that things are looking nice with this light I'm very impressed 240 watts 500 Samsung LEDs great light just under $300 I paid um, you can get it on Amazon um, also as you can see as I said it's doing real beautiful job with my uh, my plants here they're coming out very nicely uh, you can check out the, the other videos with this the stepwell super soil grow videos and see the progress as I just thrown these in the flowering and I'll be going right to the end with the grow video for anybody who's just tuning into this channel to check out the light um, it's really got them bushed out well so I'm very stoked about this uh, temperature seems to be well on it's very on point very close it's about one point off sometimes it's sometimes it's right on sometimes it's about one point off with my AC infinity but it's, it's very well on um, you know what I mean if I pull it up a little more it'd probably be on more point but yeah everything is well built I, I gotta say a very impressive like great job to my Lumi um, I can't wait to see more gear from these guys I hope to do some work for these guys and test out some lights for them just like other uh, light manufacturers but other than that guys keep tuned in uh, we're gonna go into the segment of checking out the app so I'll be right back thanks a lot into the app section of this and you can see the my Lumi app in the middle of my screen on the left it's got that cool little marijuana looking leaf on it, it says my Lumi with the cool little uh, neon colors on it we'll click on it here and right away we're brought to the automation screen which is my favorite screen of them all um, and as you can see, I was talking about the simulated day rise. You can set the simulated day rise so at 5 a.m. it goes on, it starts at 3%, then by 5.10 a.m. is 10%, 5.20 is 20%, 5.30 is 40%, and so on. It goes 60, 80, and then 100% by 6 a.m. So over an hour, an hour period of time, it uh, goes from uh, you know 3% up to 100% and gives that simulated day rise. I also have a simulated sunset set. I just got to readjust the time as I just changed the plants over to 12-12 and they're going right into flowering. So I got to set that to 5 instead of 8. I've just been a little lazy and got to get on it. Had a lot of things that are going on right now. Um, also another two cool automations is uh, I have the temperature automation set. It does have a temperature and um, humidity sensor in this light that comes in the controller that's inside the tent and uh, as you can see here I have it set so if it hits 80 it goes down to 75 percent it adjusts itself automatically which is amazing um, then once it goes down to 77 it will go back up to 100 percent so it keeps itself in a perfect zone and it keeps it like you know between those perfect temperature zones um, that's my sweet spot there I find so it really does the job for me I really don't have to get up and do anything with it anymore and it's just going perfect I'm not having spikes or anything like that um, and then you can set all your automations here stuff like that uh, as per that one they have set there the temperature ones as you can see when um, here like room temperature that would be the tent temperature if it goes up or down you set it or humidity or anything like that if you have a spike in humidity you can set it to go up or down with the brightness or turn off the lights so that's the gist of those automations and stuff like that also you can have it for weather changes outside say if you're using this in a greenhouse as a supplemental lighting you can have it if it's like a 
a shitty day, I would go brighter, right? So really a lot of things you can do with this uh, app. It's amazing, a bit of a game changer. Um, we'll go to the home screen here, which is the main part. And then you got your common functions. The find me would be for other smart things as this is a uh, company does make other smart stuff. Um, like smart plugs and stuff like that but then you got your brightness here you can control that in one point increments that's uh, another awesome feature you can do that in several different places here we'll click on the little light bulb here for you guys to see and basically there's my temperature and humidity um, keeps that in check uh, also another cool thing is it has a graph here so you can see if you're having any spikes and you can see actually how smoothly my temperature actually goes any of those spikes you see in my humidity are actually just foliar feedings other than that it keeps smooth that's due to the fact that the automations being set and just keeping everything in check and just it, it really it really does a big big difference with the lights um, I'm not having any spike problems so you know I can just leave it set it forget it um, but yeah that's you know that's everything you're seeing here guys it's pretty cool um, you know the me section is really nothing much it's home management stuff like that settings uh, home management would be more other smart things and stuff so it's nothing much in there and then you got your settings it's like you know basic stuff um, but yeah guys that's about it for this um, that's the smart app it's everything you need to see here um, yeah check it out my Lumi it's on uh, Amazon I'll throw a link up for it guys they've got some other lights too so if you google them you can check out the other lights the next model up has the Emerson effect built in um, pretty cool and then they have higher models with um, Samsung and Philips LEDs so amazing company uh, great lights um, you know I'll post some results keep uh, an eye out on my channel as I'm doing a grow journal already with this lights with Steppo super soil but other than that guys thanks for tuning in take it easy Chronica 420 make sure you hit subscribe Peace.